Gentlemen, a lot of people have been waiting for this night, so let's get going. Our first subject is the Supreme Court. President Trump, you nominated Amy Coney Barrett over the weekend to succeed the late Ruth Bader Ginsburg on the court. You say the Constitution is clear about your obligation and the Senate's to consider a nominee to the court. Vice President Biden, you say that this is an effort by the President and Republicans to jam through an appointment and what you call an abuse of power. My first question to both of you tonight, why are you right in the argument you make and your opponent wrong? And where do you think a Justice Barrett would take the court? President Trump, in this first segment, you go first, two minutes. Thank you very much, Chris. I will tell you very simply, we won the election. Elections have consequences. We have the Senate, we have the White House, and we have a phenomenal nominee, respected by all, top, top academic, uh, good in every way, good in every way. In fact, uh, some of her biggest endorsers are very liberal people from Notre Dame and other places. So I think she's going to be fantastic. We have plenty of time, uh, even if we did it after the election itself. I have a lot of time after the election, as you know. So I think that uh, she will be outstanding. She's going to be uh, as good as anybody that has served on that court. We really feel that. Uh, we have a professor at Notre Dame, highly respected by all, said she's the single greatest student he's ever had. He's been a professor for a long time at a great school. And uh, we just, uh, we won the election, and therefore we have the right to choose her. And very few people knowingly would say otherwise. And by the way, the Democrats, they wouldn't even think about not doing it. If they had, the only difference is to try and do it faster. There's no way they would give it up. They had Merritt Garland, but the problem is they didn't have the election, so they were stopped. And probably that would happen in reverse also. Definitely would happen in reverse. So we won the election, and we have the right to do it, Chris. President Trump, thank you. Um, same question to you, Vice President Biden. You have two minutes. Well, first of all, um, thank you for doing this and looking thank forward you. to this, Mr. President. Thank you, Joe. I, uh, the American people have a right to have a say in who the Supreme Court nominee is. And that say occurs when they vote for a United States senators and when they vote for the President of the United States. They're not going to get that chance now because we're in the middle of an election already. The election has already started. Tens of thousands of people have already voted. And so the thing that should happen is we should wait. We should wait and see what the outcome of this election is. Because that's the only way the American people get to express their view is by who they elect as president and who they elect as vice president. Now, what's at stake here is the president's made it clear he wants to get rid of the Affordable Care Act. He's been running on that, he ran on that, and he's been governing on that. He's in the Supreme Court right now trying to get rid of uh, the, uh, the Affordable Care Act, which uh, will strip 20 million people from having insurance, health insurance now, if, if, they, if it goes into court. And, and uh, the justice, and I have nothing, I'm not opposed to the justice, she seems like a very fine person. But she's written before she went in the bench, which is her right, that she thinks that the Affordable Care Act is not constitutional. The other thing that's on the court, and if, if, if it's struck down, what happens? Women's rights are fundamentally changed. Once again, a woman could be held, pay more money because she has a pre-existing condition of pregnancy. We were able to, they were able to charge a woman more for the same exact procedure a man did, gets. And that ended when we, in fact, passed the Affordable Care Act. And there's 100 million people who have pre-existing conditions. And they'll be taken away as well. Those pre-existing conditions, the insurance companies are going to love this. And so it's just not appropriate to do this before this election. If he wins the election and the Senate is Democrat or Republican, then it, he goes forward. If not, we should wait until February. All right. There aren't 100 million people with pre-existing conditions. As far as the say is concerned, the people already had their say. They, okay, Justice Ginsburg said very powerfully, very strongly, at some point, 10 years ago or so, she said a president and the Senate is elected for a period of time. But a president's elected for four years. We're not elected for three years. I'm not elected for three years. So we have the Senate. We have a president. He's elected to the next During election. that period of time, during that period of time, we have an opening. 
I'm not elected for three years. I'm elected for four years. The and the 100 million people, started. Joe, the 100 million people is totally wrong. I don't know where you got that number. The bigger problem that you have is that you're going to extinguish 180 million people with their private health care, that they're very That's happy That's simply with. not true. Well, you're that certainly going that. to socialist. Go you're ahead. going to this socialist. Is, this is, we're, we're now into, gentlemen, we're now into open discussion. Open discussion. Open discussion. Yes, I agree. Go ahead, Vice President. Number Biden. one, uh, he, he knows that uh, what I proposed. What I proposed is that uh, we expand Obamacare and we increase it. We do not wipe any. And one of the big debates we had with 23 of my colleagues trying to win the nomination that I won were saying that Biden wanted to allow people to have private insurance still. They can. They do. They will under my proposal. It's not what you've said, but and it's not what your party is, has said. That is simply Your party a lie. doesn't say it. Your party that wants to go socialist. My party is and me. Socialist right now, I am and the they're Democratic going to dominate party. you, Joe. You know that. I am the Democratic Party right now. The platform of the Not Democratic Party Harris. is what I, in fact, approved of. What I approved of. Now, here's the deal. The deal is that it's going to wipe out pre-existing conditions. And by the way, the 20, the 200 million, the 200,000 people that have died on his watch, they're, how many of those have survived? Well, there's 7 million people that contracted COVID. What does it mean for them going forward if you strike down the Affordable Care Act? And Joe, you've had 308,000 military people dying because you couldn't provide them proper health care in the military. So don't tell me I'm about this. I'm happy to talk about this. And if you were here, you, well, it wouldn't be deal. 200. It would be 2 million people because you were very late on the draw. You late didn't want me to draw. ban China which was heavily infected. You didn't want me to ban All right, we're, gentlemen, Europe, we're, we, no, which was heavily Mr. infected. President, you would have Mr. been President, much later, Joe. Mr. President, much later. Mr. President. You're talking about two million people. You're not Mr. President, as a moderator, <laughs> we are going to talk about COVID in the next segment, but, but go ahead. Let me finish. The point is that the president also is opposed to Roe v. Wade. That's on the ballot as well in the court, in the court. And so that's also at stake right now. And so the election is all You don't know it's begun. on the ballot. I, why is it in the ballot? Because, because why is you it on the ballot? It's not on the ballot. It's on the ballot in the I court. I don't think so. In the court. Well, There's nothing happening there. Donald, would you And you, you just don't know her me? view on Roe v. Wade. You I don't, don't know her know. view. Well, all right. Let's, all right. Let's talk. I would, we got a lot to unpack here, gentlemen. Right. We got a lot of time. So <laughs> uh, on health care. And then we'll come back to Roe v. Wade. All right. Mr. President, the Supreme Court will hear a case a week after the election in which the Trump administration, along with 18 state attorneys general, are seeking to overturn That's right. Obamacare, to end Obamacare. You have spent the last... Because they want to give good health care. If I may ask my question, sir. Good health care. Over uh, the last four years, you have promised to repeal and replace Obamacare, but you have never in these four years come up with a plan, a comprehensive plan to I replace have. Obamacare. Of course I have. Well, I'll I give got you rid of the I'm individual gonna, mandate. Finish, I'm give you an Excuse me. I got I, rid of the individual mandate, which was a that big is not chunk a of comprehensive Obama. plan. That is absolutely a big thing. That was the worst I, I part of Obamacare. Him, sir. Chris, You're that was the worst him, part me. of Obama. Let me ask my question. Well, I'll, I'll ask Joe. I, 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 the individual I, mandate was the most unpopular Vice, aspect of Obamacare. I got rid of it. I'd like and you to, we will protect Mr. people. President, I'm the moderator debates. of this debate, and I would like you to let me ask my question, and then you can answer Go your ahead, question. Go ahead, friend. You, in the course of these four years, have never come up with a comprehensive plan to replace Obamacare, and just this last Thursday, you signed a largely symbolic executive order to That's protect some... people with pre-existing conditions yeah. five days before this debate. So my question, sir, is what is the Trump health care plan? Right. Well, first of all, I guess I'm debating you, not him, but that's okay. I'm not surprised. Let me just tell you something. that <laughs> okay. There's nothing symbolic. I'm cutting drug prices. I'm going with favored nations, which no president has the courage to do because you're going against big pharma. Drug prices will be coming down 80 or 90 percent. You could have done it during your 47-year period in government, but you didn't do it. <laughs> Nobody's done it. So we're cutting health care. All of the things condition? that we've done, insulin. I give you an example. Insulin. It's going to, it was destroying families, destroying people. The cost, I'm getting it for so cheap. 
It's like water, you want to know the truth. So cheap. Take a look at all of the drugs that what we're doing, prescription drug prices. We're going to allow our governors now to go to other countries to buy drugs okay. because when they fact, pay just a I, tiny fraction. As I say, this is open discussion. No, let me but ask this is you big, about, let me, this you'll is be happy, big stuff. Sir, you'll be happy. I'm about to pick up on one of your points to ask the vice president, which is he points out that you would like to add a public option to Obamacare, and yes. the argument that he makes, and other Republicans make, is that that is going to end private insurance. It is and not. Will, if I'm I sorry. ask you the question, it will, end your party says, by the way. it will end private insurance and create a government takeover of health care. It does it not. It's only that. for those people who are so poor they qualify for Medicaid, they can get that free in most states, except governors who want to deny people who are poor Medicaid. Anyone who qualifies for Medicare would, excuse me, Medicaid would automatically be enrolled in the public option. The vast majority of the American people would still not be in that option, number one. Joe, you agreed with Bernie number, Sanders, I, I, far I, left, on the manifesto, we you, call it. Well, that gives you socialized medicine. Look, hey, Are I, you I'm saying not going to listen agree? to him. The fact of the matter is, I beat Bernie Sanders. Not by I'm, much. I, I beat him a whole hell of a lot. I'm not here, I'm here standing facing Pocahontas you already. Pocahontas would have left well, two days early. You, you would have lost every primary All he knows how to on do Super is hurt. Tuesday. You got Look, very lucky. there's a deal. I got very lucky. I'm going to get very lucky tonight as well. And tonight I'm going With to make what? sure because here's the deal. Here's the deal. The fact is that everything he's saying so far is simply a lie. I'm not here to call out his lies. Everybody knows he's a liar. But you I just agree. want to make sure. Joe, you're the liar. I, 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 I want to make sure. You graduated last in your class, I, not first in your I, class. I, <laughs> I want to make Mr. sure. Mr. President, can you let him finish, sir? No, he doesn't know how to do that. He has, You'd you know, you, you pick be the ahead, wrong Joe. guy, oh, the wrong oh, night oh. at the wrong time. Listen, you agreed with Here's Bernie Sanders to the manifesto. The whole idea, let, let him, there him. is no manifesto, number Please one. Please let him speak, Mr. President. Number two. You just lost the left. Number two. I, I, you just lost the left. You agreed with Bernie Sanders on a plan. How, that folks, absolutely folks, agreed do you have any idea what this clown is doing? Call it Mr. Medicare, you have Mr. President. Any do? Socialized medicine. Mr. President. I'll tell you what. He is not for any help for people needing health care because, because he, in fact, already has cost 10 million people their health care that they had from their employers because of his recession. Number one. Number oh, two, oh, yeah, yeah. there are 20 million people getting health care through Obamacare now that he wants to take it away. He won't ever look you in the eye and say that's what he wants to do. Take it away. No, I want to give Number him better health care at a much lower price but, because Obamacare is...